All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out, man. One of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to take this upper right here, and because I have transitioned and moved parts and pieces around so often, I really haven't had an opportunity to do a battle site zero on these backup iron sights. And in order to do that, well, the first thing I wanted to do was go ahead and bore sight it. Now, one of the things that happened to me, if you guys have watched any of my videos in the past, typically what I'll do is I'll take this little uh, sight mark laser bore cider but unfortunately on one of the other rifle builds i was doing i put it in the chamber and it popped out and when i released the bolt it punctured it just like that as you can see there so i had to resort back to the good old-fashioned ways and means of doing a bore sight and the easiest way to do that is what i'm going to show you next now as you can see we have an ar-15 upper okay and what i'm going to do is i've put it in this vice block right here and that is just basically to hold it steady so that I can look down the bore or the barrel over to this wall right here and line the sights up with the alignment of the bore. Now how we're gonna do that is there's a couple different things. There's a sight differential. The top of the sight post and the center line of the bore itself. That is your sight differential. So if you ever notice that a lot of times one of the guys, they go into a situation of CQB and they're danger close and you go up and you want to hit somebody in the forehead you actually have to aim a couple inches up here in order to hit them square in the nose so that's the reason why at 100 yards there's a sight convergence like this now one of the things that we'll talk about in another video leading up to the video where i show you how i zero this thing in is we're going to talk about the pluses and minuses of a 25 or 25 meter uh, battle site zero versus the 50 yard battle site zero. I prefer the 50 yard battle site zero most of all. So without further ado, let's talk about this real quickly. One of the things you have to do in order to do a good bore test is you got to get this thing stable. And I've been able to utilize my work table here in this vice block and put the upper inside the vice, the vice block. Now, one of the things also I want to do just to help me make sure that everything's good is to make sure that we are level in this direction and we're also level in this direction because what I want to do is make sure that the sights are lined up because what we're going to do now is I'm going to create a dot for our barrel and then a dot for the sight alignment. Okay, so what we need to do to determine that sight differential is I need to take my trusty old measuring stick here, this 12 inch ruler, and I'm going to measure up the differential between the top of the sight post and this center line of my bore. All right, and on this particular rifle right here, I'm looking at two and five eighths of an inch. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my piece of paper right here, I'm gonna lay it down and with my ink pen, I'm gonna mark a line and really and surely what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a single line. And I'll show you this real quickly. Straight down. Just like that. And the reason I'm doing this is because what we're going to do is I'm going to plumb up this line to make sure it's truly vertical. And then I'm going to line up my bore with this line. Okay. And then I, <laughs> because I'm only one person, it's going to be kind of fun to do. But you'll see how I go through the whole process. I'll edit that portion of it out. But we're going to mark up. A little dot here where the bore is and a two and five eighths inch up that's where our sight from front or rear to the front will line up so here we go i'm going to go ahead and mark my lines there's one and five eighths i'm going to put two dots right there center line and center line okay so there are my sight differentials okay and if you guys have ever done like a deer rifle sight in you can actually do that at a 25 yard uh, indoor range and they have sights uh, targets that are set up just like this so for 100 yard alignment this is where the convergence will be specific to that round all right so with this guy we're only shooting 55 grain this is a 1 and 8 twist barrel does a great job now the hard part begins is I have to orientate this with this I have okay, my wall so, right over here and typically you want to be 10 or 15 feet away to do a true bore sight but unfortunately we don't have that allowance here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead 
I'm going to kind of look down this thing and see about if I can find a place on that wall where it might line up at. And I got a good idea right there. All right, so grab my piece of tape. <laughs> this is, there's no science to this, guys. It's kind of fun. This is where I'm kind of thinking this is going to line up at. So I'm going to bring it in just like this. All right, I'm going to put that piece of tape there. Now what else I'm going to do is I'm going to take my level, torpedo level here, and I'm going to plumb up that line just like that. And you know what? That's close enough. So what I need to do now is I'm going to go down here, I'm going to line up the bore and see what adjustments I have to make to put this lower dot in alignment with the bore. Okay, here we go. All right, looks kind of goofy. And I might have to move my table a little bit, which makes it easier. Okay, right. so I need to come up a little bit on my paper, it looks like. All right, there we go. We're still vertical plumb. And I went up a little too far. I can actually see the dot now through the reflection of the lining of the barrel. So I'm going to come down probably about a quarter of an inch. Let's see how that looks. Almost, probably another quarter of an inch. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Now, all I have to do is make sure that the center line of my bore sees this little dot right here, and then the top of my side post, along with the rear sight, align with this thing. So you need to make any adjustments up and down, figure out what you got to do left or right, and then, then you're properly bore sighted. Guys, there's a lot of different methods to the madness. Some other people may have a better method. This is how I do it when I don't have my little laser, which really sucks. But in any case, now I can take this thing out, I can put it to the 50 yard line, and I can get on target. Anyway, that's the way I do it. This is how you simple and easy, and it'll save you a lot of money and a lot of time out on the range. Code of Boy 32, support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. I'm getting old. My belly's sticking out. Because freedom's not free. Code of Boy 32, out.